Hey, uh, Trader Coach T Tackle Trading.com here with a Thinkorswim tutorial on how to use the Scan tab in the Paper Money in Thinkorswim. Now, you'll notice if you click on Scan right here, it gives you a bunch of different choices Stock Hacker, Option Hacker, Spread, Spread Book, and the Ice Spread Book as well. We're going to stick with the Stock Hacker, and we're just going to look for something pretty basic. And I'm going to show you how you can use some of these intersecting tools like the Scan In and Intersect um, that can actually find you some interesting co candidates. First thing I'm going to do is for the volume, for me personally, I'm going to put in a million shares. You know, some traders will trade less than that if they're trading the stocks themselves, but I like options on stocks as well. So I'm going to put in a million. If I count my zeros right, there we are. Ding, ding, ding. No matches. Let's click scan. Okay, there's 1,400 stocks that have a million shares or more. Now I'm going to put in the mark. Mark is the market price of the stock. I could also put in the ask, the bid, so on and so forth. And I'm going to make sure it's at least $5 a share. Anything less than $5 a share, we call that a penny stock where I'm from. And uh, we're down to 975. So a million shares at five bucks or more, 975 candidates. Still too many to go through. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go through some of these basic ones. You know, you want to have, oh, mark, volume, vol index right here I'm going to put in. If you trade options, you want to have at least a certain volatility above, say, the volatility index on the market. And uh, it's going to be a VIX reference here from my brother Matt. 1287 is the VIX. If I click on the Scan tab, we add 10 points to the VIX. So I'm going to put in like 23 and take out the low volatility candidates, okay? Because there's no real money in the options that way, and they usually don't move very much. I mean, there's reasons to trade low volatility stocks, but for this scan, I'm just kind of showing you how we could do this. Down to 748, still too many. Now, what I can do, because it's hard to know what, how liquid these options are unless I went through them one at a time. So I can start to use these different filters. Now, I've got my own personal filters and my public filters. There's a couple of real neat ones here, like in uh, the public where you intersect I'm going to scan in all the different stocks, so that gives me stocks and ETFs. And then I'm going to intersect with a category called weeklies. Now, if a stock has weeklies options, scan that, there's 266, I now know that that company is probably pretty liquid. See, if the options market creates weeklies, like let's say Apple Computer, that means when you go into the chain, they've created more choices for you, right? All the way up and down the list. Some companies don't trade weeklies, and if they don't trade weeklies, it doesn't mean they're not tradable, but I know by filtering that way, at least I'm bringing it down to a certain location. Uh, other things I could then filter for. I could go through personal lists that I've built, like my watch list, and then I could scan in that. Maybe I wanna look for candidates that are doing all this stuff, and then also add another stock filter and make sure they're up to date. You know, I could put in something like percent change and make sure they're up at least 1% today, you know, uh, and look for only bullish candidates. If the market was going up, now I'm down to 150. Now, what I can do from here is I can save that scan and I can call it like bullish, you know, with weeklies. And actually, let's, let's make sure we're clear on that. Bullish today with weekly options okay click on save now on my charts when I open up a watch list right here I can open up a personal list and I've got a bunch of them in here Oop, if I can find one next one down here bullish today with weekly options and then I can start to look at these candidates link them together with the chart here and start looking at my charts you know see what's going up there's all kinds of ways to modify filters and get more complex filters. And Oh, and by the way, if you ever want to share the filter, you can share it right here. It will create a hyperlink. You can send it to your friends or people in your community. It's kind of a cool thing to do. Scan tab Thinkorswim needs to be customized, and there's a lot of tools in there, especially. And one thing you'll learn, by the way, the live scan tools are different than the paper money scan tools. The live scan tools, they turn on a lot more robust features like the study filters and the fundamental filters and so on and so forth. The virtual one's a little bit limited, so log into your live account when you want to build these and uh, save them so you have them for the future.
get the game, tackletrading.com. By the way, guys, uh, this is just an example of the kind of stuff we do when we're teaching people. If uh, you're looking for a trading community, come join ours. We've got a 15-day trial to our pro membership. We always have a free community as well, just over on tackletrading.com. But if you want to try out what we do for our pros at normally 97 bucks a month, we'll give you 15 days for free. Just click the link in the uh, comments below.